Hey Warriors, in this quick video I'm going to walk you through uh, setting up the WP Voter plugin. As you can see it's going to be done in just a few clicks, 10 or less, and I'm going to get this thing set up and ready to go in less than 5 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. Here I am in my WP Admin of a demo site. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to um, Plugins, Add New, click on Upload. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Browse, but I'm going to blur this out for my protection. So you're going to find the file, upload it in zip format, click on install now. You see it's installed successfully, let's go ahead and activate it. Now you'll see that it activated correctly and you'll see on the left hand side in the menu under settings you'll see a brand new option for WP Voter, click on that. As soon as this loads up you'll see that there's very few options that you really need to work with here. You got the short code at the top you have to decide whether or not, and this is still finishing loading, there we go. Um, you have to decide whether or not you want the sharing icons to have a counter or without a counter. So let's go ahead and do without a counter. If you want to have this displayed on all pages and posts, that's the checkbox for that. This is dummy content here, so you can go ahead and replace this with whatever you want. This editor here is styled just like the uh, WordPress editors are, so you can add video, you can add SWF to it, you can add uh, images, whatever you like, as well as HTML. So this is the area that is displayed above the WP Voter. You can add whatever you want there. Call to action to get people to notice the voting icons. It's entirely up to you. And then this is for the content to be displayed inside the light box pop-up when the thumbs up is clicked by your site vid visitors. So this here is dummy content. You can go ahead and get rid of that and put whatever you like in there. And then on thumbs down, it triggers a feedback form. That feedback form is already uploaded, stylized, and everything. All you have to do is put your email address that you want all that uh, feedback to get emailed to. So as soon as I'm done, just go ahead and click on submit. If I make a mistake or I want to go ahead and reset these settings, just click on reset and it'll go ahead and clear out um, all the uh, entry inside your WordPress database. So we've got that created now. Let me grab the short code. Control C, right click, copy. Let's go ahead and check out my pages. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to check out the contact us. I'm going to edit that. Make sure it's an HTML, not visual. Control V or right click paste to get that short code in there. And then I'm going to click on update. And then let's go ahead and view page in a new tab. And here you go. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I dislike it. Feedback form. Tracks my, my negative vote or my positive vote. Thumbs up triggers this you saw where I shut off the counter so you tweet like it or Google plus one it and then obviously this is all the content that you saw that was in the other HTML editor so that's it as simple as that you guys see I got that completely set up within just a few minutes it's really that easy so um, we have a couple overview videos on this page Go ahead and check out those and then scroll down because we have a ridiculously cheap offer for you today and uh, it's not going to be around forever. So go ahead and capitalize and, and uh, jump on that opportunity now and we'll see you on the other side.